Yes, welcome again to another one of these interesting programs on building millions of anti-nuclear missile cutting boomerangs that can get rid of nuclear missiles and save the world from nuclear destruction. This is Pastor Peter Christian Hessen. I want to thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about supporting the Ukrainian people so that they can stop the Russians from invading them. And this is a terrible thing that has happened. Yeah, Russia has invaded Ukraine and the Ukrainians are fighting for their independence and their freedom. We have to pray to God that they succeed. I have been talking for years about building this anti-nuclear boomerang system to stop Putin and what he is doing. And I'm a patented inventor. As I told you, we applied for patents on this new expanding anti-nuclear missile cutting boomerang that can expand, pick up nuclear missiles, send them back and boomerang them back. The patent pending number here in America is 15658121. We also have some copyrights on it. We're seeking companies to help, that help us build it. We have filed an international patent also on it in London, in, in Britain, in Jamaica, in, in Africa, Asia, Canada. We have a European patent also on it. And it's very coincidental now that the Europeans need this type of system. This is a, the only system that wants to stop Putin and what he's trying to do, take over uh, 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 Europe. And yeah, so we have to support the Ukrainian people, and I, I, I really am doing this to make sure that America and NATO supplies the Ukrainian people, and the Ukrainian people will be able to push Putin back. Putin is going to have to pull back. As you see, the Ukrainians are forcing him back. There's over nearly 10,000 Russian soldiers have been killed. So um, we have to pray to God. Uh, that the Ukrainian people will succeed in pushing Putin back. And I've been saying this for years, we have to build this anti-nuclear missile cutting boomerang uh, uh, that can expand, pick up nuclear missiles, send them back. Russian nuclear missiles will be sent back to Russia. Chinese nuclear missiles back to China. North Korean nuclear missiles back. It's very important that we have a peace negotiation that Putin has to know start negotiating peace because if they explode those nuclear reactors in Ukraine, the radiation will kill nearly everybody in Russia, Ukraine, and Europe. So it's very important that, you know, that Putin is, has to, he and the Ukrainian President Zelensky has to sit down and they have to negotiate peace. I, we must support President Zelensky. He's doing a great job, a heroic job in standing up to Putin and, and sending them and, and fighting back the Ukrainian people. We are sorry, we have millions of refugees now fleeing. We have to do all we can to help the refugees uh, fleeing. I saw with some, some uh, refugees from Africa were having a very tough time getting out of, 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 of Ukraine. But um, we must continue to support Ukrainian people and, and get President Biden, the US and NATO, as long as uh, the US and NATO supports Ukrainian people, the Ukrainian people will push Russia back. They will actually defeat Russia. You see, the numbers favor the Ukrainians. You have nearly 30, over 30 million Ukrainians. There's only, a, 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 only thousands of Russians invading them. So if we arm the Ukrainians, they will be able to push the Russians back and Putin will be able, will have to um, negotiate a peace. What has to happen now is that the International Criminal Court has to set out a red, a red notice that Putin be brought to trial, Putin and his generals be brought to trial and be convicted of war crimes. Putin has been bombing hospitals, schools, hundreds of, of children, babies have been, uh, have been killed. These are war crimes. And then he has been threatening to use nuclear weapons. Uh, 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 for years I've been saying that we have to build this anti-missile nuclear boomerang system and um, stop Putin because he's building all of these uh, uh, new, more powerful nuclear weapons when he should be trying to reduce these weapons. He's building them and threatening to use them. So Putin definitely has to be convicted of war crimes. And the International Criminal Court now has all the evidence uh, to issue a red notice and ask that Putin be arrested he and his generals and brought to trial. This will force him to negotiate a peace. We have to basically give Putin an ultimatum to say, you end this war in Ukraine or you're going to get a red notice from the International Criminal Court which will, which will, which will say that he has to be 
arrested, he and his generals be arrested and brought to trial, and that is going to force the Russians to force him out. And he did the Russian people find out the truth that over 10,000 Russian soldiers have already been killed, and, uh, and, and the devastation that he has done, the war crimes committed, they are going to force Putin out. So I hope the International Criminal Court um, will issue this red notice to have Putin arrested here and his generals brought to trial. And this is going to force him to negotiate a peace uh, there, where we must continue to pray to God. God will, will rescue uh, the, the Ukrainian people because their cause is just. You know, uh, Putin has to be stopped. And another thing, the United Nations has made a very big mistake in not, in not intervening years ago. The United Nations should have a peacekeeping force there. From Putin went into the Crimea, it, uh, they should have done that. So let's hope now and pray that there'll be a peace negotiation between Russia and, and President Zelensky in the, in the Ukraine, and that there'll be peace. Uh, they'll push the Russians back uh, 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 there. So uh, Putin now knows that he cannot, he cannot rebuild the Soviet Empire. We have to stop Putin in the Ukraine. If he takes the Ukraine, he's going to exp exp ex expand into Poland and Romania and Moldova and so forth. So uh, we have to keep supporting them. We have to keep supporting the Ukrainian people and taking care of the refugees. What we have to do is take all of the Russian money and pay for the refugees and pay for the supplies uh, uh, to, to, to keep the Ukrainian people uh, uh, supported both with military and humanitarian aid. The United Nations has to have a peacekeeping force there no, in, in, in Ukraine. Uh, there. Remember also, I, I am so I've been very busy. I am in college. I'm trying to do this aviation program to build this anti-nuclear boomerang system that uh, God has showed us to do. But we, we must uh, keep the faith. And I believe that Putin uh, uh, will be stopped. Remember to look for my movie coming out, uh, Boomerang Peace. Remember? There, my boomerang peace movie. We're gonna have millions of boomerangs coming out this year. Uh, there, so this is a this this is the only system that's gonna stop. And this is a boomerang system that comes on a roll system. You can roll it all. This is the largest missile system in, in the world. And uh, I want the government. We have the patent pending on it. To have the U.S. government, Biden, I've been writing to Biden to grant because this system can be built. But the companies are only gonna build it if they have a patent. No company is going to build a system that's going to get rid of nuclear weapons. This system will make land-based missiles that the Russians have obsolete, make their submarine ship missiles obsolete. This system will be the largest anti-missile uh, uh, system in the world, and we have to build it. We have to have, have them grant the patents. I already told the patent examiner uh, there that if he doesn't grant it, uh, we're going to go to court with them. It's, it's up now for the appeal. Uh, they have no to grant. This is the only bit of companies will only build it if the patent is granted. This is the system that God has given us that will make nuclear weapons obsolete and stop the Russians. So give your hearts and life to God in Jesus. Pastor Peter Christian Hessing, let us continue to support the, the, the Ukrainian people. I'm in college, I'm doing 18 credits and I'm trying to do uh, my aviation. If this is what God, I even show you one of my planes back here that they gave us, the kids gave us from the school here. We're studying aviation, uh, trying to get an aviation program. I want to read to you, I always like to read a passage to you, hear what Jesus says here. And as Jesus was leaving the temple, one of the disciples said to him, Teacher, what wonderful uh, stones and buildings. Uh, what, what, look at these great buildings of the temple. And, and, and what, did, what did Jesus say? Jesus said, not a single one of them will be left in place uh, uh, there. And then they turned to him. When they went up to the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to Jesus and said, uh, 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 Peter, James, and John, and Andrew came to him, tell us when will these things be said? Uh, and tell us when, when are these things going to happen? And Jesus said, watch out. Don't let anyone deceive you. Many people will come in my name and say, I am here, and they will deceive many people. And don't be troubled when you hear of these battles and wars and rumors of wars. Such things must be, but the end shall not be yet. Countries will fight against countries Kingdoms will attack you. There will be earthquakes and everything there will be. These are the beginning of sorrows. You yourself must watch out. You'll be arrested and persecuted and you'll be brought before kings and rulers for my name's namesake. But before the end of comes, the gospel must first be preached to all the people, to all the peoples. And when you are when you are brought before these, do not worry about what you are going to say. 
for whatever is given to you in that hour, for the word you speak will not be yours, it will come from the Holy Spirit. So here God, Jesus tells us not to be afraid. These things are going to happen. We're going to have wars and, 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 and earthquakes and famines and so forth, but we must keep our faith in God and Jesus. So let's pray that we can end this conflict in the Ukraine and we must continue supporting the Ukrainian people and President Zelensky and taking care of the refugees and we have to make sure that Putin now has to negotiate the peace. And if he doesn't negotiate the peace, we'll bring him to trial before the International Court with a red notice. So uh, there, thank you very much. Pray for me, I'm in college. We're trying to get into this aviation program so we can build, um, this is a very busy, I'm doing 18 credits. <laughs> so I hope uh, we'll get the financial aid and uh, we can, they'll grant the patent to build this uh, this anti-nuclear missile cutting boomerang system, this is, will get rid of nuclear weapons. This is what I've been talking about for years, that we have to stop Russia and the Putins from building all these massive nuclear weapons. This is the only system that will stop, will stop it. Look for my movies coming out, Boomerang Peace, and millions of anti-nuclear boomerangs. We also have a program on another movie, and instantly coming out and, and instantly ending power. Uh, there. And look for my book. I have a book on Amazon that you can get a 24-7 safety inspection. We have to have a 24-7 system of, um, to prevent nuclear in, of anti-nuclear inspection by the International Atomic Agency of all the nuclear weapons in the world. So as to prevent a 24-7 inspection that was, will stop countries from using nuclear weapons. And Billy's anti-nuclear missile cutting boomerang system comes on a roll. It's the largest anti-missile system in the world that will stop countries from using nuclear weapons. Thank you, this is Pastor Peter Christian Hessing. Thank you very much uh, uh, there. We have to end poverty. End poverty in Jamaica. Uh, that's why we formed the Jamaica Christian World Peace Party. Uh, we pro we're probably going to try and enter the elections in the next election in Jamaica. And, and we have also formed the, the Jamaican Caribbean African Space Program to protect the Caribbean, Africa, and the world from nuclear destruction and to deal with climate change. But we must end poverty. We can end poverty by um, having 8 billion online business opportunities for every single person in the world. And that we can do, and as I say in Jamaica, we have to have free college and free university for every Jamaican in Jamaica and also around the world. We, have, we can have a Wi-Fi, an online university, where every Jamaican will get a free college education. This is the only way we're going to end poverty in Jamaica and stop the crime and violence. So let us uh, uh, support. Uh, the, uh, uh, let us support. All these efforts to end poverty around the world, stop the homelessness here in, in America, in, in, in Arizona, in, in Tucson, in Phoenix, in, in, in Hollywood, in Los Angeles, New York, Philadelphia, all around the world. Let's stop the homelessness. Let's build a system and take care of the refugees. We have millions of refugees all around the world, in Africa, in South America. Refugees now coming out of, out of Ukraine, in Europe, the Poland, you know, Moldova, Serbia, Montenegro, all these countries. You know, France, Britain, uh, we have to help these refugees and stop this crisis in the Ukraine. And Putin will be forced, we have to force Putin, and I hope also that President Biden and Kamala Harris, they will stand up to Putin and force him to negotiate a peace. And um, also the United Nations has to get involved. The big mistake of the United Nations didn't get involved. The United Nations got involved years ago when Putin took the Crimea and have a, a peacekeeping zone. This thing will, will never happen. Thank you, God bless. Pastor Peter Christian has to support us on YouTube. On, please subscribe to us. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Thank you, God bless you all. Give your hearts and life to God and Jesus. Peace and love. Pastor Peter Christian has been. Thank you, God bless.